Flathead fishing means a lot of things to a lot of people. I mean, initially you think big fish, rod bending, adrenaline rush, but in reality, at least to me, it's more about the journey, the places you go, the things you see that you never would have otherwise, the adventure, and most importantly, the company you enjoy along the way. Shut up, Denny. Yeah, I'm doing my intro. Sorry. Hey, I'm excited to be here this morning because I get to fish with a local legend. And it's not Bill Dance, but it's really close. In the background there, sorry, your cameo, Denny, Denny Ransom, the float fish adventures. And we're floating and we're on an adventure while we're fishing. Just seemed appropriate. Pull them out of hiding and we're gonna try and catch something big, brown, and ugly. Let's go. So the spot we're coming up on, I have a history with. About six years ago when I was in college, I hooked a big bad boy here and um, he kind of did whatever he wanted and then busted me off. And that was a pretty sick, disgusting, sad feeling. Fortunately, I forgot what it felt like and I had a big fish do the same about three days ago. So I have that going for me. But I'm gonna be a gentleman because um, Denny doesn't fish anymore, so I have to guide him. <laughs> And I'm going to set him up on the primo spot here. And um, I'm going to take the slim pickings. So I'll be sure to videotape him when he hooks up, though. He's nice. Very nice. Come on, gotta get him up high so he doesn't go in this tree that's right under me. I'm gonna high stick the crap out of him for a sec. Oh yeah, nice fish. He tagged that blue bill. Come on. Right in there. Wow. Well, good morning. Where's Denny? <laughs> I told him to come down here. Old man don't listen sometimes. I don't know if he's hooked good or bad. Right in the middle of the mouth. Alright. Success. Yes. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, great start to the day. I'll think of some more cliche fishing lines to say. Great color, real healthy fish. Um, boy, what a fight did he put up. I think that's all I got. But seriously though, I'm pretty excited to start. This is like 10 minutes into our float, 20 minutes into our float. Second spot, it was in the water for a minute and a half and this guy just heard a thump. Look up, the rod starts going down. He had a big old hand-sized bluegill. He's nice, short, chubby. And I'm gonna let him go. Oh! You ready yet? Well, you probably were ready. I'll hang on to you as long as you want. He's pretty neat. I think he's about, he's curled up. I bet he's, he's good to go. Oh, yeah. On that bluegill he gave me. Thank you. So that's the kind of host I am. <laughs> Denny hasn't fished all summer. Well, I mean, I did tell him to come down here. So there's that. Oh, boy, don't listen. <laughs> all right, so this positioning probably qualifies as an orthodox. I wouldn't argue with you. I will uh, I drop one right there. I'm behind this rig wad. I'm going to toss it to that one downstream. I'm going to give it like five minutes. That's it. Because there's a lot of stuff in here to cover. And I don't have that much time. Dude, you're rusty. You don't fish anymore. Oh, that splashed me. 
Although, in your defense, that's not a terrible spot. Yeah, that's, I was going to put that thing there. Oh. Yeah. I don't know if you heard that thunder. Denny says it's not going to rain. I think he's wrong. And I usually think he's wrong, but like, usually it's a joke. Like, I really think he's wrong. So, I'm going to get out my rain gear in hopes that it makes Mother Nature decide not to rain, but it's pretty dark back there. It's officially sprinkling. Denny's wrong. Told you it was going to rain. You can say I'm right. Look how heavy, look how it's downpouring right now. Oh, now that it starts raining. Ugh. I guess Denny's gonna fish. I'm gonna get out of the water. Rain don't bother me none. It's that lightning. I am sick and tired of having my baits just come off the hook. So I'm gonna do something about it. Take a little piece of this bobber. This is gonna be my bait stop. I suppose a little piece of plastic could probably work too, but I don't have any soft plastic lures. So this is what I got. I'm gonna take that little styrofoam. So I'm just gonna take this styrofoam and just slide it past the barb of the hook. And hopefully that'll help keep the fish from pop and off and not obscure the hook set. Uh, we'll see if we can't. You gotta try something because you can only haul so many baits on a kayak and everyone's gotta count. Well one something picked it up and moved it about four feet. Oh he's still on there. There he was. Oh he just mauled it to death. For some reason, people think this is flatheads that do these things, and I'm not a believer. Like, you can see where the fish bit it here and crushed it, and you can actually feel in the tissue where he crushed it. It's, a lot of dudes think flatheads are doing that. And I don't think so. I think it's just channel cats. They think they pick them up and move them away from their nests. Well, I mean, you can't see underwater, so I'm speculating too, but... I believe if a flathead is going to protect its nest from something like this, especially when it's not been hunting for weeks, it's just going to eat it. Now, channel cats, on the other hand, they try their best and they grab it. Denny's going to cast on my head. And they grab it and they try to get it down the hatch, but their mouth isn't big enough. Oh, there's a channel cat right there. So he just killed that bait. Yeah, I think they just grab it and they try to take it down the hatch, but they're just not big enough. Their mouth isn't big enough. And they're trying to run away from other channel cats because other ch channel cats will steal their food from them. You know, pretty competitive world down there. I don't think there's any flatheads here or we wouldn't have all these channel cat attacks. You got the good spot over there. I should just dart in and freaking take it from you. Like, oh, you got it. Doop. So yeah, Denny's on the good spot. I've been banished to Channel Cat Haven, which is fine. It's fine. Denny, I said it's fine. So I'm going to sit here and enjoy the tappity tap taps and hopefully watch Denny boat up on something obnoxiously huge. And hopefully it doesn't get demoed in that brush. <laughs> I have zero hope in this spot, but screw it. I'm going to throw bait in it. Because I can. Just screams channel rats. Getting pecked on right now. Didn't see that coming. Not what I'm fishing for. Moving on. Denny's, Denny snagged. Did he get it? I, I turned the camera on so if he falls in, we, we document it all. Just give it a real hard tug. Everything you got. And he didn't fall in. 
Bummer. This is what I call the midday doldrums. It's not that you can't catch fish in the middle of the day, but it's kind of freaking hot and my energy level's kind of low. So I don't know if the fishing slows down or if I just slow down, but either way, I don't usually do as good in the middle of the day. And that's all I gotta say about that. Just remember, the last time I floated this, which has been like a year, I didn't get a single bite the entire trip up until I got to this lone tree up here. It didn't look any different than any of the other ones, but it was set up on the top end, first major bend, after a long, straight stretch of river. And if you look at it just from the general specs, it doesn't seem that great, but spots at the beginning or end of a long stretch of river can often be prime. A tree is here. I don't know if it's the tree, but it's old, so that's a good thing. And I'm gonna fish it. There's a lot going on right now. We got those people over there. Got people floating back there. Danny just caught a fish. And I have zero action. The baits are lively though. I'm not a fan of their music. You got anything exciting planned, Spencer? Well, yes, I do have something exciting, Denny. I'm so glad you asked. I'm gonna do an experiment because I always read people are like, oh, you use bullheads. You should cut their fins off because flatheads like them better because flatheads have scissors and stuff so they can snip them off before they eat them. You know, that happens in the wild. It's like bread with the crust cut off. Yeah. It's like Wonder Bread with no crust. Wonder bullheads. <laughs> So I'm gonna see if I can get Denny in on it because I got, well, I got three rods. I'm gonna put one with a regular bullhead with his fins fine, one with a bullhead with his fins trimmed, the, the bony pointy part, and then I'll probably throw a sunfish or something out on my boy Snoopy right there. Probably put the smallest bait on him, which means he'll probably get bit by the biggest fish. So yes, I'm excited about that. Not as excited as Denny is though. I'm really excited. So earlier, Denny said something really smart. As much as it hurts for me to say that and admit say that, again. I'm not gonna say it again. It was it was smart. It made sense because it's real. Because we caught that fish right off the bat, and by we I mean I caught it and Denny didn't. But it, some people might think that's like a good sign, but in reality that means absolutely nothing for flyhead fishing. I mean, right bait, right spot, right time, and you try to put it together the rest of the day and it just doesn't happen. But we're where we want to be for the evening, at least where I want to be, if Denny doesn't want to be here. I want to be here. Okay, Denny wants to be here, so that's so we got some, some buy in there, that's good. I'm going to throw out those bullheads this evening. Two bullheads, one with the fins, one without the fins, and then a little baby green sunfish on Snoopy. Oh, I hear gunshots. That's a good sign. Flatheads like guns. You didn't know that, did you? Better than hearing banjos. That's fair. I won't argue that. All right. This is not going to be the perfect analysis. There's going to be some mildly skewed data. One bullhead's going to go under a bobber, one is not, so that's a variable that's not equal, but you know what, <laughs> apart from everything else, I just want to catch some fish, because it's fun, recommend it. So there's my boy without the clip fins, I'm going to chuck him out right on this nice current scene. Be setting about seven, eight foot water, suspended a foot or so off the bottom, probably by the time he chills out. Yeet. Yeah, I like that a lot. I do. Is there any more of my terminal tackle you need? Not till I'm ready to tie my car. Okay, good. <laughs> Just checking, bud. All right, trap set there. 
sitting there right on that seam. I like that a lot. A lot. It's exciting. Yeah. Yeah, Denny's stoked. Yeah, I'm stoked. He's just like, give me that, give me more of your tackle. Ah, oh, he poked me. That's all right. You're getting snipped anyway. Okay. Should I hook him first? I think I'm going to hook him first. Immobilize him a little bit. So he's hooked right there. People get all worked up about where you hook him. Doesn't freaking matter because fish you're going to... Fish four is going to swallow him in one bite. Shut up, Denny. <laughs> Sorry, I take that back. That was mean. Not the meanest thing I've said to you today, but it was mean. Okay. He's trim. All right. Dial some distance. Okay. That'll work. Again, on the seam. I'm going to put Snoopy out. He's next. With a little baby sunfish. Short. Like, right, right there. All right, to keep this one out of Denny's way, I think I'll throw it over here. Plus, eee! that'll work. I'm just going to lay it down. Yeah, I watched it get rolled down. He's still on it. He's not big, I don't think. He's running up river. Cut the tension with a knife. It's a turtle, Spencer. It's not a turtle. I didn't see it go down, so. I watched it go, Don't. and then went, Wah. Oh, so like the right kind of bite. Yeah. He's still on it, I bet. I just pick it up and see if you feel anything. If you feel anything. I mean, you're going to have to reel it in either way, but. That's sad. What's up? Oh. oh, he's not big at all. Oh, where's my line? Channel cap. Quick release. Mm. Quick release. Denny might be getting a bite. This, this is intense. Thanks, bud. I love bells, in case anyone is wondering. Legend has it, if you use bells at Scott Street, you get beat up. It's a shark, he just cut your, bit your line. Oh! Oh, he came off. That's your second hooked and lost fish, Denny. You suck. It looked huge. The rod was like folded in half. Right, it was like this. No, it was like the tip was like touching the rod handle. <laughs> looked like I a horseshoe. Probably, I probably I had on I probably had on a fifty. That's just the way fishing goes, Spencer. Yeah. You lose big ones right by the kayak sometimes. Uh, the bullhead challenge is zero zero, so I guess it's a tie. Inconclusive data. I guess we have to do this again. Yeah, I think we'll do this again. I'm gonna fish my way back to my truck, despite what Denny wants me to do. He's probably ready to go grocery shopping or something like that, something really important. But uh, I feel like flatheads are more important -er than grocery shopping. Important? -er? That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> are you stupid? <laughs> and let's get moving. Hey, Denny, when do you want to do a camping trip like this again? You slayed them, bud. We're not talking, Spencer. We're not on talking terms right now. 
But we are on end of the video terms, so hope you enjoyed the smack talk in me outfishing Denny like normal. And uh, <laughs> you outfished me on the day where you got paid for it. It happens. Yep. And you got that stupid trophy that I wanted. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to have to do another video with the bullhead thing again, obviously, because we have no data to support one or the other. And uh, that's the third time I fished that spot and been blanked. So. And we're not coming back. And we're not going back there. We might go a slightly different spot. Like, what about here? No. No, okay. <laughs> but, hope you enjoyed it. Really appreciate you watching. Hope you catch a giant. We should bring some humor next time instead of that bell.